Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. As you see, I have like a different little setup going on here today. I brought up my table and, and I am going to be sharing with you guys my Ulta haul. And I'm gonna be trying on some products on camera and speaking about my first impression and what I think about them and all that good stuff. But before I begin, I do wanna say welcome to all my new subscribers. In the last few weeks or so, um, a lot of you guys have joined me and subscribed. So I'm really happy for that um, and welcome. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Whatever you guys want me to do, review, just let me know down below in the comments. And yes, reach out, follow me on social media, stay in touch. I love to hear back from you guys. So that will be good. And yeah, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do down below and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more beauty hauls or I do want to get eventually into fashion hauls as well so yeah if you guys want to see that thumbs up so here are my goodies I recently got the Ulta um, credit card I shouldn't have but it needed to be done I am a danger to myself when it comes to these credit cards and honestly I don't think I bought that many things. Some are actually stuff that I needed to restock up on or and some were just stuff that I wanted to try. Didn't buy a lot and it was still a little bit pricey more than I would like to say but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do so I wasted about $1.45. Not very happy about that, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so first product, I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm always out of breath in this video. First product I am going to try is actually one that I have on right now. I don't know if you guys can tell from there. It is the KKW Beauty Lip Liner. That was my little like spray thing. Um, to smell good like in the house whatever so ignore that little sound so this is my kk beauty um i've always wanted to try one of her products either like lipstick lip glosses whatever and lip liners but i was always afraid of ordering it online and then i would have liked the shade so i like to physically like go to the store and actually try these out on my hands or on my lips because sometimes you try the shade right here and it really doesn't look the same as when you put it on your lips so I definitely wanted to do that in person. Um, so I went to the Ulta. They actually were low in stock from for some of the colors and stuff. But I thought this color was good, and it's nude one. I think it's like the perfect oh, mirror here. I think it's literally the perfect like brown. It doesn't have that great undertone that a lot of nude colors have. I really hate that. I feel like it just morphs the color so much. But I feel like this is a good color and I love the um, how it feels it's very creamy and the point of it it's like very thin I would say very precise when you want to put it on your lips I feel like I know I've mentioned this before to lip line my when I lip line my lips I struggle a lot like I can never make them the same or the line gets so like squiggly I don't know I was never good in art so that's why I do not have the artistic um, hands or whatever for makeup but you know I try and I'm learning every day this is a learning process but I really love how it feels it's very very creamy it's very thin um, honestly I would like to get closer to the camera but I have no pants on can you guys see that oh, I don't think you can whatever guys just take my word for it and when you're in store in Ulta or whatever nude one just try it out See the color, you guys will understand what I mean. All right, next. Damn, I should really get some water, it's kinda hot. So my next one is Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pencil. This has always been my go-to, so this was actually just a restock. I actually have it on my brows right now. I know there's two versions of this. There's one that is thin, there's one that it's thicker. I like the thin ones, more precise. And I used the shade Dark Brown. I had to take it out because you guys know this product. It's nothing new here. Uh, Alright, the rest are new. But before I get to the makeup part, I want to share this one. 
So I bought this texturizing hairspray. Um, we quay. I feel like I can never get that right. I should have. I should have looked it up and see how you pronounce it. Quay, quay, way, 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 quay. I don't know. Uh, whatever. You guys know what this is. <laughs> you guys have seen this product before. Um, I, I want to get into more. Like I, I want to try to change my hairstyle a little bit more and like start start making it like curlier, wavy, and just put nice waves on it. But I feel like my hair is so straight that the waves always die down super fast. And I don't know. I feel like I'm just. I feel like myself with straight hair. I feel like I, have, I know I have to get out of that little feeling or that little um, comfort zone of straight hair. So I want to start um, implementing more curly hairs, wavy hair, whatever hairstyles. But you know, it's a work in progress. I am trying to change a bit, but I feel like this is a good step to get myself some texturizing spray and check see if it helps um, my, my waves stay longer. And yeah, I have tried this before actually, but it was like a little bit that was left from my mom's bottle. So I couldn't really put it to the test. So I will be using this soon. All right, let's get to some, actually before I get to some good stuff, another thing that I have to share with you guys that it's so good. I actually bought it um, at first, like um, like a, when you order from Mario Badescu, you know you could pick like the little testers or whatever. So I would always get this product to try out. And it's just so good that I just ended up going and getting the big thing at Ulta, the full product. It's the Mario Badescu drying cream. Can you guys see it? Like I'm so far away. I'm used to like being in front of the camera, like standing right there. Whatever. This drying cream is so good. Whenever you have feel like you have a little mark coming through or like a little pimple, you put this overnight, and the next morning, odds are that is gone. It will be gone. And if you, I opened it a little bit, a little bit bad. I should have opened it better, but whatever. It's like spitting. Anyways, it's like, it's literally. A cream that you just put it on and it just dries out I but make sure that when you do put it on you pass like a blow dryer or something or you put your face in front of a fan so it can dry out because if not you will stain your pillow or wherever you rub your face you will stain it and the stain will come out eventually but I mean the purpose is that it's dry in your face not dry in your pillowcase so I do suggest you to try to dry it out before going to bed okay all right, let me get some water because I'm out of breath. I get out of breath because like I'm always in a hurry. Literally have to be in work like in 25 minutes. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, four more things left. All right, we're gonna start off with this Morphe brush. A lot of my brushes are from Morphe. I don't know why, I just hear they're good, so I used it. Um, So I actually bought this one, it's the M105. For the purpose of using it as a blush brush it is most likely not a blush brush but i felt like it was just perfect to be more like precise on my cheek like if i wanted it here and i wanted to go this way like it's just like i don't know like it was just more it was just good for the purpose of being precise like where i want the blush to go and it's not something big like fluffy that it just gets everywhere does not I did not want that so I thought this was like a good good size for it so then I got as I mentioned in past videos I have been wanting to incorporate blush into my makeup routine so I heard that the Kylie cosmetic ones were good so I decided to try them out the prices were not bad $18 that's pretty good so I bought Batty on the block which is very pinky and uh, close to perfect, which is a little bit more, I'll say like peachy, more natural, new, neutral color, I'll say. Um, so I have not tried these out, so we are going to try them out. And then I'm going to try to get as close to I can, as close as I can to the camera, so you guys can see. So I'm going to put my little thing on my hair, so you guys can see me better. All right, so this is the packaging. I am sure you guys have like seen this before um, all over YouTube. Let's be real right now. So I'm gonna try first Batty on the Block on this cheek. 
So I actually did open this before. Did not try, did not like put it on my face, but I did open it. Um, and there's something that I noticed. The pro, the actual um blush itself is like coming out of the packaging. I don't think you guys can see it, but mm, that's something I gotta be careful with so it doesn't like just fall on me or break on me one day. Um, so let's see. Okay. Oh, and by the way, let's backtrack just a little bit um, with my nude one, the actual liquid lipstick that I put on top, like um, like in the middle over it. It was the Duels of Color Sand. I feel like that's a really good nude that I like. All right. All right. Put that in there. Push off. Hmm. So I definitely like um, how this brush is applying it's right on my apples. So I'm going to try to mix it with my bronzer and my highlighter. Oh, that's cute. Can you guys see that? I don't think you guys can see that. Let me try to get closer. Hold it. Can you guys see it? It's like pinky. I know I can add more, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm just not a blush person, but a little cute pink. You see, it's like very pinky. This camera's not capturing it. Of course it isn't, but it's not bad. I like it. I will, I do see myself using it. Um, now let's try close to perfect. So this one is actually pretty good um, inside the packaging, like it's pretty stuck inside. So that's good. You see, I don't think you guys can tell, but this one, um, it's like inside. All right, let's see. I'm gonna turn this over a little bit. Now I'm gonna put it on this side. Oh my goodness, I really like it. I actually really like both. Both are both are cute. Both are very complimenting to like my bronzer and like my complexion. I have like a, a it's not a pimple that's growing here, but I have like a red, like not rash, it's like a mark on her nose. So it's like really messing up with like the pink um blush. So I don't know what's what. Um Hmm, I like it. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Oh, I feel like what you guys are really looking at right now is my, <laughs> my, um, what do you call it? My bronzer. Can you guys see it? It's like more, it's like more peachy and this was like more pinky, right? Right, that's what I think, right? I hope it is. All right, so I actually really like both. Um. They are very like, I don't, not creamy. I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe what they feel like. But it's very matte. They're both matte, so that's good. I think I like matte better. Um, but they feel good. They're Gucci. All right, so last product I got, the Kylie lip gloss on the shade clear because I want to be able to put it on with anything when I first picked this up I was like what I looked at the name on the bottom to make sure it matched the box since it does look a little bit pinky but turns out it still applies clear so that's good um let's apply it right now I have not used it on my lips so I don't know the consistency like how it feels I do like the fact that it's clear so you can like put it with whatever um lipstick you're wearing oh my god and it smells oh i didn't recognize the smell oh it smells so good does anything else smell i feel like it didn't smell my, my blushes hmm interesting no blushes don't smell but this smells real good i really like it 
Hmm. So my lips feel obviously glossy. But it doesn't feel like that gloss that it's like sticky. It does not feel sticky. Ooh. And I can smell it. Mmm, it smells good. Mmm. So I really can't say if it's like one of those glosses that are glossy for a while and then it dries out. I have to put that to the test, but I will. And I'll probably say something, let you guys know down below. But so far right now, it's feeling good. So yeah, oh and the packaging I think it's just so cute with the pink. I think it's really cute. So yeah guys, I am pretty happy about my purchases and I really like the blushes. I like both of them. Um, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this is like my first um, makeup haul that I do on YouTube. So I'm sorry if I sucked. I am not a professional with makeup. But, and the quality with the camera, hopefully that's good too. And obviously I'm always in a rush, so I gotta work on my timing, time management a little bit better. But, let me just not put this back because I'm gonna use it. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys found out about some cool colors, um, some cool products like the Duran Cream. I recommend this so much. Please try it out. And when you do, let me know what you think down below because I swear I live by this. It's so good, so good. And yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.